this is an Infinity Q45 and I wanted to show a feature which is the headlight adjustment knob or switch and here it is it's got four settings three two one and zero so what exactly does this do what happens when it's zero what happens when it's a three let's talk about the two extremes right? all the way up all the way down you'll see the headlights move up and down right let's focus on the headlights now Awesome. That's exactly what it does. So, zero, in this case, is what I see as neutral level. Three is what I see as heavy, heavily loaded level. And let's employ the use of a toy to try and explain this. So, I've, I've talked about it in a different video, and I think it's fairly well understood why the headlight adjustment is not just a gimmick. If you're driving down the road, say you're going straight your headlight beam is going to be facing straight and it will be illuminating the road in front of you and far ahead for a while however in the extreme example that you heavily load your trunk your car is going to be facing upwards the front of your car is going to be facing upwards and thus your headlight beam is going to be illuminating the sky a little bit of the you know of the road of the path ahead of you but a lot of it will be going higher into the sky so the road surface in front of you potholes little animals whatever it is might not be clearly visible so it would be desirable to have a way to dip the headlights down such that whenever you you're heavily loaded you can still see the road in front of you and that's what that switch does and that is what I chose to see it as three but as you know you could look at it as this if the rear of your car is not excessively loaded, you're neutral. The more you increase the load, the more you dip the, the number. However, you could also look at it as a headlight point of view, right? If you're neutral, this is the highest you want your headlight to be, right? Because you're driving straight, you want it to be as high as zero. However, if your rear goes down, because of loading, you want your headlight to dip down as well, and you could just say you're dipping it down depends on however you want to look at it uh, in the in the more modern infinity cars that was uh, achieved by a height sensor in the back that sensed how much squat you have in the back and it would automatically adjust the front you know as if so equipped it would automatically adjust the front but in these ones you are the controller you're the one to think about it and say hey I do need to adjust my headlights to see better in front of me and as to why they took it away from us I really have no idea but I think we can admit that we as people are not the best at judging what's good for us sometimes sometimes and such that for example people who have that switch might not really know it's there and for those who've seen it might not really know what it does and for those who know what it does, might not really remember to use it all the time appropriately. And maybe it feels gimmicky sometimes, you know, because right now I'm in front of my house and I can do that in front of my garage door, you know, turn it up, down, up, down. But when you're driving, sometimes you can't really tell, is it getting better or not? In this car, I can tell it is getting better, right? But yeah that's it I just wanted to touch on this feature over here headlight adjustment for the for the infinity M infinity q45 the o3 q m45 had it as well but that was more of a of a dial and I know the I think this is the same switch that they had in the 2000 and 2001 infinity q45 if I remember correctly but yeah so that's it
just small features, part of the reason this car was way ahead of its time.